everybody, welcome back to TCS Start Frogs. My name's Travis, and today I'm doing a frog room tour. So before I get started, I'm gonna go around the room and I'm gonna feed all the frogs. That way you guys have the best chance of seeing everything. I've emptied a whole bunch of flies into this container, like a ridiculous amount of flies. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go around and feed everything real quick. And right after I'm done feeding everything, I'll go around and show you guys the frogs. All right, guys, I'm back. Just got done feeding all the frogs. And uh, since I haven't really done a full tour of this room since I moved into this house, I'll just kind of go through everything and give you guys a rundown. So um, I've got this big stand over here with a couple displays. And then I've got that rack over there, which is... Uh, mostly 10 gallons, but it does have a few front opening tanks and some 20 gallons down below. And over here, more 10 gallons with a uh, custom tank down below. And then over here, I've got all front opening, front opening tanks, um, as well as the top rack with some tadpoles. That, uh, that'll eventually be all tanks up on that top rack as well. And then up here, I've got some tubs for froglets also. So, I guess we'll start off down here. So in this tank, there's some super blue erratus, and they are not out right now. I'll have to try to throw in some shots of those. But over here, I've got my group of leucomellas, and there's five of them in there. And I think there's three males and two females, and they do pretty well in that ratio. Uh, this tank, I've got a couple different things. Uh, these are kind of some odds and ends that I got from a collection sale. There's some uh, blue erratus, there's some yellow truncatus in there, and there's also a few male pumilios. Um, nothing that could breed together, they're all, they're all one sex. So, um, next tank over here, these are Costa Rican green and black erratus, and I've got uh, some adults and then some holdbacks in there. There's also an Eldorado pomilio in there that I'm uh, looking to either uh, rehome or find a female for. And over here, this is my oldest pair of Azurias. These guys are 16 years old now, so they're getting up there but still breeding and doing well. And over here, these are my pair of giant orange. Two of my favorite uh, pairs right there. Now up here I've got a whole bunch of froglets in this 10 gallon. This is kind of where I throw all my froglets once they just come out of the water. And then I separate them out as they get larger into different, uh, different tanks. And in here, I've got some matechos that I'm growing up. Uh, I've got at least two pairs that I can tell are, are going to be breeding pairs in there. So I'll be holding back two pairs of those. In here, I've got a uh, green sip and a couple different azurias. These are all holdbacks and uh, frogs that I'm raising up to be breeders. In here, I've got some... Uh, Kotari River as well as in Alanis. And here I've got more Azurias. I've got a few uh, younger Kotari River in here as well. And over here I've got um, a couple tanks as well as some Santa Isabels and some Philobates Vitatus. Over here, I've got more tank froglets. There's a giant orange, azurius, some powder blues. I've also got a few uh, Yumbatos imitators in there. In this next rack, there's some uh, fine spot azurius in this tank. These are getting pretty big. I'm gonna have to pair them off pretty soon and the other ones I'm uh, working on selling. This tank's got another uh, kind of mixture of 
Azurius, there's some Cobalts, uh, Green Sips. There's also some Super Blue Erratus in there. And this tank, sorry about the bad view, it's kind of got a bad water staining, but there's more Azurius in there and some Patricia Froglets. And over here we've got some more Cobalts as well as some Azurius. And in here there are a whole bunch of Veradero imitators. Um, and of course they're all hiding right now. I can see one kind of back in there. But I think there's like 12 of them in here. So I'm raising these guys up for breeders. Unfortunately I lost my female this year. So hopefully I can get another female and a few males. And these guys you've seen before, these are the frogs from Understory Enterprises. These are the Alanis and uh, Cobalts. And over here, these are also from Understory. I've got a couple of Zurius as well as some Oil Pox. And hoping to get at least one pair out of the Oil Pox. And it looks like I've got a pair of the Azurius. Um, same thing with the Alanis. I hope I get at least one pair out of those guys, but they're still growing. Uh, the Cobalts looks like I've probably got at least one pair. And real quick, I'm going to jump up on this ladder so I can show you guys the last row. Oh, there's one of those super blue Aratus. So up here, I've got the Ep Pipitabates Anthonii Santa Isabel. This is my breeding group. This next tank over, I've got uh, Highland Sirensis, or the Standard Lamassi, as they used to be known. These guys are pretty shy. I've got three of them in this tank. And at this point, I think they're all males. And this tank is my Ronatomia Imitator banded uh, intermedius I can see one back in there but I don't know if I can get them on camera there's quite a bit of uh, plants in the way this tank kind of needs a bit of a trimming all right let me move my ladder over So in this tank, this is my lone, uh, lone uh, Veradero imitator. So until I find one to pair up with that, this guy's kind of going to just be alone in there. Over here, I've got a lone female Azurius, and there's also a pair of Yumbatos imitators in here with her. And this next tank, I've got... A female Natasha Tinctorius and a pair of green imitators and in this tank there is a Brazilian yellowhead female that's alone and another pair of green imitators and unfortunately neither one of those pairs is out right now but I'll try to throw in some pictures of any of the frogs that uh, weren't out as I was filming all right so over on this rack, these are the adult Phyllobates vitatus. Once again, sorry for the uh, the glass being so stained up. These are just some old 10 gallons. Eventually, hopefully, these will all be uh, front opening tanks. This is another pair of giant orange Tinctorius. And I've also got a few Yumbatos imitators in there that I'm trying to sex out. I know that one of them's calling and the other one looked like it might have been courting with the calling one, so I'm gonna see if I get eggs from those. In here, I've got some orange Galactinotus. And in this tank, I've got five uh, golden Mantellas, Mantella Arantiaca. These guys are really shy. I've also got a few imitators in here that I'm trying to sex out, uh, just the standard or green imitators. 
And it's weird, all, all the places that I've been to visit, like aquariums and zoos, these golden mantellas are always really bold. And the ones that I have seem to hide most of the time. Only time I see them is when I feed them. And even now they're not out after I fed everything. Down here I've got some Robertus that are pretty decent size. Um, I believe I've got two pairs of these. I just traded for these recently, so they don't quite have their own tank yet but really gorgeous frogs and down below here this is one of my Ufagalamani red tanks this is one of the pairs that I have and I just saw one of them sneaking back over here I don't know if you can see that but there's one there the other one was over here eating. All right. Now over on this side, you guys have seen this tank before in my old house, but this is my redhead histrionica tank. And ever since the uh, oak leaf creeping fig has really taken over the back, I haven't seen these guys a whole lot. I see them every once in a while when I feed. And I have seen them carrying tadpoles recently, so hopefully if they get some froglets, I'll see them a little bit more often with that breeding behavior. And down here, this is the tank that uh, you might remember from my bromeliad video. This is a group of cemetery bastimentos. You can see a couple of these little guys right here. And the bromeliads are doing really great, and I know that they had some tadpoles in these bromes, so hopefully have some froglets from those guys soon. And over on this side, this is a small group of Renatomea vanzellinii. There's uh, four in this side, and... Uh, probably separate those guys out once I figure out what the sex ratios are and which ones they're breeding. And this tank has a group of Cristobals. There's one right there. Um, there's a couple younger ones in here and then some breeders. So I'll be pulling those younger ones out of there pretty soon. And over here, this is my Bullseye Histrionica tank. I also have a couple of these uh, Colombian erratus in here right now. Uh, and there's one of the bullseyes. Unfortunately, they're down below where the glass is that I cleaned. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get a better shot of these guys for you. So there's one of the bullseyes. And there's one of the Colombian erratus. Both really skittish frogs for me. Um, and so far they've been doing pretty well uh, in this tank together. I will end up separating them. I just haven't had time to build all the tanks I need to at this time. And over here, this is the second tank of Red Lamani. And they don't seem to be out right now either. Uh, down in this little 10 gallon, uh, it's kind of just wedged into the corner. I've got a group of Firebelly Newts, and that tank is run off of a sponge filter, and there's quite a bit of Anubius in there as well. Um, I'm planning a build for those guys as well, just haven't got around to it. And I've got kind of a little houseplant corner. Got some uh, Raphidophora tetrasperma, some Philodendrons, and some Variegated Monstera. And over on this wall, I've got another pair of Azurias. The female's right there, and the male's right back there. And over here, this is a pair of Cobalts. These are really gorgeous frogs, a little bit skittish, but I think these guys are really underrated overall. And this tank has some uh, orange galax. They are hiding at the moment. And in here, 
This is another pair of Azurias. You can see the male that's back over there in the corner. And let me see if I can get the female to come out. So there's the female. This is one of my favorite frogs in my collection. She's just got a great pattern and a really huge Tinctorius as well for an Azurius. So pretty cool looking frogs. This is another pair of Azurius in here. The female is right down there and the male's to the right. Got some, I don't know, pretty good plant growth in these. These are still pretty new tanks, so uh, the longer they're around, of course, the better the plants will get. And up here, these are my citronella tanks. This is the female in the front. She's still on the younger side, so she's still growing. The male's there in the back. The male's got a really gorgeous pattern. Um, well, he's. He's what they call a no dot citronella so he's got that nice solid yellow back um, probably one of my favorite frogs out of all the tinctorius that I've raised and over here I've got one of the pairs of powder blue tanks these are a newer pair just got these guys in the last year or so and there's the female up on the wall Probably trying to grab flies off of the roof. And this is my older pair of powder blues. This is the female here. And the male is back over here. There he is. So this is the oldest frog in my collection. He is uh, 17 years old now. And he's still doing good. So be curious to see how long he lives, but I've had him since I was a kid and he was the, the one that started this whole, whole hobby for me. And over here, I've got Patricia Tinctorius. These guys are pretty neat. Just got these last year and they have been super productive for me. Maybe, maybe two years ago. Now in this tank, these are Dendrobates Tinctorius Green Cipollowini. And you can see the one on the right is more blue. Um, they were a little bit greener when they were younger. The female on the left has kept her green really well. And uh, the froglets they produce are mostly green, but some of them come out blue. And I think that's just uh, some natural variation that happens within the population. There is a third frog in there, another male also that's hiding right now. And then if I get up here and I'm on my step ladder now, I do have a bunch more tadpoles up here. And like I said, this is kind of overflow. I have a whole nother room that's got a bunch more tadpoles, so. Should have a ton of froglets this year. And then the last thing over here is actually uh, my bug closet. Down in the bottom I've got a whole bunch of isopods and then I have a bunch of fruit flies. And I forgot to show you guys also these are all my uh, eggs and tadpoles. This is kind of cool. I actually just hatched out an albino green cipollowini tinctorius. Uh, I've hatched a few of these out before but none of them have ever made it. So hopefully this little guy survives. Uh, this is the healthiest one I've had so far and it's eating. So I'll try to keep you guys updated on how this little guy does. And over here, I'd also like to show you guys uh, how I keep my froglets. These are just like some big deli containers, basically. And I line them with moist paper towel. And I have some broken up uh, terracotta pots in there. And I just change out the paper towels every three to five days. And this actually works really well for froglets that have just come out of the water. So... 
I've been kind of uh, experimenting with this lately. Um, I actually got the idea from watching some other videos on YouTube, and then uh, me and uh, Troy Goldberg were talking about how this might actually be one of the best ways to grow froglets out. I'm still kind of testing it out, and I'm not completely convinced that it's the best way, but if you want to isolate one frog or just keep an eye on a couple of frogs that you really want to uh, hold back or something like that, this is a great option. Um, and so far it's been it's been working pretty well. It's just a lot more work than uh, keeping froglets in 10 gallons. So that's the only downside for me. Alright, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. That would give me just a little bit extra motivation to make more videos like this. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please drop a note down in the comments. And if you guys want to check out my social media, I'll leave the links to my Instagram and Facebook in the description. Also, if you guys want to buy anything from me, frogs, plants, isopods, I will leave the link for my website as well, which is tcsstartfrogs.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day.